doing our own research, looking up the pros and cons, figuring out the costs and everything like that, Freddie and I just decided to just go ahead and buy a bus! about powder donut face <laughs> say hello everybody <laughs> what's up you guys sky sky got a face full of powdered donut because her daddy gave her a donut full of powder and she got it all over the place and so he's sweeping up all that powder now she got of course she did it's all over her face all over her hands she probably got it all on the walls and the stairwell too you got to come up here and vacuum next but um, I'm just actually getting home from work. Changed out of my work clothes, put on something more comfortable. As you can tell by my face, I'm tired. Work was very hectic today. A lot of people are on vacation and y'all know how that goes. But anyways, my stuff got hectic. She got a powdered donut. She up here licking her lips all like that. Here you go. Get down. She hurt my back. So you guys, after the boat show, Freddie and I, bit, what? <laughs> she do that all the time let's show how much you be sweeping she say thank you too she gonna go dump it in the garbage oh she missed the spot go and pick that up she wasted the camera uh-oh no, she, <laughs> she picked it up and put it back in she did oh good job sky sky she a helper yay so you guys, ever since Freddie and I left the boat show, we have been talking back and forth about what it is that we want to do, whether we want to join the boat membership or if we want to do the boat ownership. We've just been kind of going back and forth on that idea. But if you guys remember in a previous video, we mentioned about a project that we were working on where we got like a lot of check marks on the box as far as like yeses. And we are at a point where we can finally tell you guys exactly what the project was because we got a lot of check, marks. Lot of check marks and basically what that project was was a the purchasing of a used boat and the reason we call it a project is because there's some stuff that we need to work on to get it up and running just a little minor stuff um but that actually ties into why we were at the boat show to begin with um, the project boat idea was something that Freddie and I were really leaning towards, but we wanted to be sure that this is something that we were going to do. So we went to the boat show to get some, I don't know what you say, some experts advice, expertise yeah. on what all boat membership comes with, the responsibilities and the price and the cost. And then we went to the Barrow Motorsports place to find out how much it would be to just purchase a brand new boat. So we were trying to Compare all our apples to apples options. to apples. Yeah, weigh them options. Sky, get down. Just say, I'm on your runway. So you guys, after talking to all these different people, going to the boat shows, doing our own research, looking up the pros and cons, figuring out the costs and everything like that, Freddie and I just decided to just go ahead and buy a boat! So I'm headed outside now because I know you guys want to see. Here is our baby. <laughs> Freddie already inside of it. Sky Sky sitting next to him. But this is the boat that we purchased, you guys, and we're so excited about it. It is ours. We own it. And it fits in our garage, which is awesome. So there's no docking or storage fees. Um, there's a few things Freddie wants to fix up, such as the um, trailer right here. He wants to get that painted and then um, a little buffing around the sides on the other side over there. He wants to buff it out a little bit more um, just to bring out the color. But it's really cool. It comes with this bimini top right here so that it goes over like this, like a shade. Cover your forehead so you don't get crispy. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about it. Can't wait to take it out on the water. 
but other than the outside work it's in pretty good condition um, there's some stuff some minor detail stuff that we me and Freddie have to work on a little bit but we got a really good guy to do the maintenance on it and he was actually the one who did like the checklist for us to give us the yeses to let us know if this was a good buy or not so good buy and he gave us a lot of check marks on the list so it's not outside of you know anything that we can take care of so we're really excited about it. I can't wait to get it out on the water look at my sky sky she's trying to drive ain't she I don't know if you can see her, her little head. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> she thinks she's on Mario Kart. Alright, so let me try to give you guys a little roundabout view of it. So you got your side here. And I'm going to come around this way. You kind of get on from the back. There's the ladder right there. And you climb on. This is actually a trunk for storage. And I think it has a cooler under the seats. The seats were all redone, so those are in good condition. And you got your driver here, Miss Sky Sky. Sky Sky, say hi. Look, say hi, Sky Sky. Hi. <laughs> and yeah, this is it. I can't wait to get her out on the water. It's gonna be so much fun. It fits. It fits in the garage. Good job, Sky Sky, you backed the truck up. Good job. All right, you guys, that was the boat, our newest baby. Who would break a sweat that thing? I know. Ain't about to adjust you. Sky want another bite of her donut. <laughs> you guys got to hear how Sky say juice. Sky, you want juice? She ain't going to say it. Sky be screaming, juice! Now you know what else we got to do, babe? Mm. We got to decide what to name it. Yes. Princess Sky. Princess Sky? Mm -hmm. Skyler, your daddy named a boat after you. It's going to be Princess Skyler. Or Princess Sky, just that. We're here in Home Depot now. Freddie was getting ready to play the vlog ah! back one of the older vlogs so he can figure out what size the filter was. Every time we come, he can't remember. And I'm no better because I don't remember either. But every time we come, it doesn't matter because even when we do remember the size, they'll never have it anyway. 20 by 20 by 1. 20 by 20 by 1? Yeah. All right, make sure we say it on here so you'll never forget. 20 by 20 by 1. It was a secure the bag, I think, video. That's what had it. That's, what you, that's the one that had it in there. But, all right, so he thinks it's 20 by 20 by 1. I'm going to look for some 20 by 20 by 1. I doubt they have it. One of my friends was telling me, though, that um, you can get your air filters on Amazon, and you can get it on, like, a reorder cycle, and they'll do it for you automatically. Do any of you guys have that for your air filters so you never forget to buy them and never forget the size? So you found the size, but it's not the right number. Freddie likes to get the, the higher number. Is it, like, a 10? They have at least an eight or a nine. I see a bunch of sevens. Yeah, this is how they got. They don't never have the one we looking for though. I'm looking. I don't know. see it. We even used to check up there in the higher boxes for it, but I don't see it. That one will do. Sky say, come on, let's go. I'm hungry. You hungry, Sky? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Back home from our Home Depot run. <laughs> Uh oh, you good? <laughs> On our way back home, um, we stopped by KFC to go pick up something to eat because me and Freddie, we love these, um, what do you call these things? The, the chicken chicken littles? I thought these were brand new. Freddie was like, they been had these. I get mine with a little bit of barbecue sauce to go on top. I love this thing. It tastes so good with the barbecue sauce and the wedges. Sky Sky got her some mashed potatoes and gravy. That's what she likes to eat. Y'all, when we got home, Friday decided to go ahead and um, put in the filter to see if it fit. <laughs> it didn't fit. He got the wrong size. <laughs> and when I tell you I can hear him, he was always says I can hear him in the garage. He was so upset. He was like, no! Oh! I'm thinking something happened to Skylar. He put, he put it up, it didn't fit. What size were you supposed to get? 22, 25, 1. 22, 22 by one? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And what size did we get? 20 and 20 by one. <laughs> it's gonna be hot tonight. <laughs> Freddie and I finishing up eating and just sitting here talking and reflecting on how excited we are about the boat and just so excited about it. But um, one of the main deciding factors as to why we went with the project boat is really because Freddie and I, we just wanted to Make sure we, we ain't going through yeah, a phase. We wanna make sure we wasn't going through a phase. Like we didn't want to buy a brand new boat and then six months down the line realize, realize that we, we made a mistake. Yeah. We ain't interested in it. Like, yeah. you know, I don't I don't want I don't want buyer's remorse, basically. And then that's what led us to the other option of membership. maybe doing the membership. With the membership, the thing mm. they don't tell you is about the initiation fee. Like the amount that they charge for the initiation fee was basically around the same amount that Freddie and I ended up using to buy the boat that we have right now. Yeah, such a good deal. And we got such a great deal on it that it was too hard to pass up. So like when we made that one time payment to buy the boat, that was it. There's no monthly after that. We can also, let's say six months down the line, we decide we don't, we're not interested in the boat anymore. Oh. We can trade it in, we can sell it. I mean, we don't really lose anything, you know? So that's what led us to go ahead and just decide to do the project boat and just own it outright and any option that we decide to do from here, whether we want to keep it, whether we don't want to keep it, upgrade. or anything like that, upgrade it, maybe get Freddie that boat that he really, really want. Hey, AR. That AR one ninety five. You know that's up in the air. It's, you know it's a possibility now for us. So we are so excited to finally be able to share this information with you guys. I've been holding it in, like all the way in, all the way into the point that I haven't even been talking to anybody because I didn't want to accidentally slip up. You know. <laughs> Scott, you say all gone? All, all gone. gone. Freddie's putting away or cleaning up, getting all the trash up and stuff for us. Um, we're pretty much going to call it a night, you guys. We're going to end the vlog here. Like, like we, we always, always do. do. Tell them, Sky. Life is a day to day experience. So yeah. enjoy. And the one, and the two, and the say goodbye. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. yeah, thumbs, thumbs up, up if you like this video. video.